first house I built. As you can see, first time using window frames, so I ended up dodgy ones. First and last attempt at using. I'm trying to make windowsills. Open plan living area. Desk, but no computer. Fully functional piano. Just use the keyboard. And the kitchen and diner. That's stormy food type stuff. So it's still in um, uh, like an alpha at the minute, so it's like it's still updating it constantly, adding more stuff. Nice radiators, spare bedroom. I set the bunk beds in. Hey, that's not click that. It's not even night time. Master bedroom. Maybe as you can tell by the sound, I had to use metal for flooring. It's the only thing that looked like carpet. Nice straight carpet to match the bedroom. Um. Oh. Spare bedroom. Like another third bedroom. Yeah. And then the bathroom. But with no bath, because there was no bath for some reason. I like this way you can do the frosted glass, so just the plain old glass for the bathroom. You need to sit on the toilet. Kind of I love how like in the, the desks and the bedside tables it opens the drawer, like here. That's meant that there's a little addition to it. And the next house I built was this one. As you can see there I've got a bit of a problem. It's on all them upstairs. I'll show you why when I go inside. I tempted with the curtains, but to have the curtains open, you build them differently. And when, where it's got like the folds in the curtains now, the like um, merge through the wall, so it looks a bit stupid. <coughs> so I haven't decided how to finish it yet. So I went with the white furniture. More kitchen cupboards in this one. <sighs> Less food because it's all in the other one. The thing is, it's nice where you can add posters to it as well. So I'm planning on making a poster to it and make it look like a telly on that wall. The end, the end bedroom. Now that's because I used boards instead of blocks. I know I've said it three times, but I might as well keep doing it. I don't know if there's anybody actually watching us or not, but. It'll go up on YouTube. Then things I showed you on the front of the house that's glitched out is the boards I used for the walls rather than using blocks. But I hadn't realised it had gone through this at the time, so I will eventually resize the boards, bring them down, then piece them in little bit by little bit. Be a pain, but hopefully it'll prevent the outside of the roof. But then again, it is only my second build this house at the time it was, so it's needs to be mistakes happen especially here in the bathroom 
and join on the main bedroom. For some reason, I tried my best, but them boards there will not join. I must stuck on. It's on the sink. So you can see through. Again, mistakes happen, but very annoying. Uh, another bedroom. So you can see the block shit it just like merged through the roof. Which understandable. It's an early game, so it's getting there. That's the actual colour. Have, have I got no light in it? Oh, another thing I need to finish. I've got no light in these rooms, so I've got any honours. Nope, I have not. Hmm. Yep, I need some lights. I thought I had. I've got some block uh, boxes outside, so don't need to make any yet. But I just thought I'd done it. That seems light in there, though. I don't know where the light's coming from, unless it's just because I'm indoors that it's light. Let's see, I put lights downstairs. What? Uh, each house has a different staircase, just trying to <coughs> make different styles of like, different styles of houses, as you'll see with this next one, which I've just been told. Apparently, it looks like a castle th looking thing. So, shall be interesting. I thought that as well, like, but it's just the roof. I went with the cobblestone, it's a nice colour. Added the balcony, some of the different beer windows, great idea, but very much a pain in the arse. So, yes, do them, but if you're new to the game, it'll be very, very difficult. Well, I found it anyway, but that's just, might just be my skills. And then I recently added, um, have I got any honours? I recently added these style blocks in the corner here. Obviously, just turned them round, just because it was a weird little alcove. So I just decided to do these, just to add that little little pattern to it. I call it a pattern. Obviously. Uh, I'll show you, this here was the practice of uh, a little thing I'll show you inside that I did different, well it gives you a rough idea of what I did but it was, I always like to practice apart from like other games, obviously this is me, me little tree farm. Which from watching previous videos on YouTube I know it can be it's easier if you've got wood just at hand. So, as you can see, different staircase. Right, have a look around the inside. Oh, could you show you this? This is me mine. I start off with the torches, but as I needed more, uh, more stone. I just kind of went down, stay going deep, but as you can see, I have. <laughs> I kind of mistakenly took out the concrete, but you can't really tell, so it'll do me. What's that? And for some reason, all the animals are doing this now, which glitching through the ground, which I think is a bit weird. I don't know why, but it is, and I've just knocked that up, so I'll quickly get this out. Um, another thing, I, I don't know whether, anyway, well, my tips, but see there where the ground's still coming up. I've tried everything to get that down, I've raked it, I've dug it out, I've rebuilt it back up, but it just doesn't go level. There's a couple of them. But, I don't know if it's a glitch in the game or what, 
but it's just it looks especially when you're running around you can see them you can see it better in the daytime but obviously i've got the light on because you kind of see it in the dark but right let's have a look at this house originally when i first started i planned on doing a let's play series but i was a bit wasn't comfortable doing it at the time so what i've done what i did was i leveled up where uh, cut all this grass down leveled it out and then just collected up a load of stone and everything but i am just i just decided to leave these there for the now but i might change it what's it do and as you can see that keeps happening uh, set game type type on yeah um, i use creative mode it's not necessarily cheating in a way it just makes you like one hit blocks apparently you can spawn stuff in but i don't see the point in that so i use creative mode just to make that a little bit quicker again i learned that from somebody else on youtube because <coughs> like i say i planned on doing a let's play series uh, as he does and it's just obviously a lot easier to like it's a lot quicker saves time on because like, it takes about 10 hits maybe it's more just to get one block so just for time's sake right third and my like, third house i built um, right i started with obviously nice marble floor no lights in here again downstairs so i put this torch back on i went with the i would call it golden staircase as you can see here, I always like to do a ceiling, obviously for the downstairs, and then another layer, so it, it does make my houses bigger, but I like it because, obviously, you don't want your floor, your, your ceiling the same colour as your floor, it, to me, I don't want it anyway, so, it's just, it's a thing I do, and it's especially when you can't put carpets down, like Minecraft, you can put carpets, but this you can it so it just makes your houses bigger bigger the better i suppose right b windows again like i say real pain but a nice feature i like them and then decided like the veranda little balcony bit i made did the little single slot windows as you can see here rather than i didn't do a b window which was a mistake because I <laughs> made an L-shaped house so I didn't really like it so I just kind of changed it to fit this rather than knock all this wall down I wanted I wanted it to be different it was harder to do in the long run because especially these um, I think it's these two front bay windows are bigger than the rest was it all of them I think it's the four front bay windows are bigger than the rest of them yeah they are as you can see that's just got like one set of windows and these ones have got two in the middle and then obviously the side ones oh that one is as well my apologies but yep the beer windows this is what i was showing you outside that i practiced i had planned on making it as a house and putting like obviously the bed here so it's got a skylight then i thought right because i don't know what i'm doing with it yet i thought i'll just dig it out in the bottom and maybe i don't know i'm thinking like a bar or a restaurant just something different just rather than your standard house because it's only single player so well, my, but there's nobody to play on the server with so i've just rather than making loads of beds i'm just going to try and make something like in real life would be um oh, what do you call it um functional i could think so i'm thinking maybe it's a bar downstairs and then obviously tables up here for a restaurant bit maybe some tables downstairs as well but with the skylight right fly mode as you can see yeah. this was a right carry on making these i'm still undecided whether to make this less square make it like shaped angles nice bit angles just to continue the pattern rather than have it basic but i don't know yet because it was a right carry on <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid as yesterday, four hours just pretty much doing this and the roof bit that I'm about to show you. Right, come back up onto the roof. 
make them not back up on the roof but as you can see kind of sheer to you as much as I could be bothered with yesterday but I'm quite this was probably the hardest thing that might, it was the hardest thing I've done in the game so far was trying to figure out the roof because obviously with it being shaped right on, obviously with having the bay windows it's like it was all funny shapes so but in the end I kind of like this with the bits sticking out I, I am really tempted though to try and make the roof a bit pointed I know it doesn't rain but it, I, in real life I don't like flat roofs because obviously it would gather on the rain so but let's say I like the shape of it that's that's what I did in the corner where I was on about over here on the house with the shapes like that I just I've decided to put them in the corners of the paths I, don't know, I, I think it just looks nice just rather than your normal square so then obviously I got a bit um, bit out of control we'll call it I'll call it, I don't know what I'll call it and I decided just to shape it onto the houses which the more I look at it the, the more I don't really like it but then I did it with these ones and it looks nice here <laughs> see that's what I did, I did these first, well, obviously I did the path first then I did that colour and then I thought wait I, was just, I think I came over this, I think I was going back to the boxes and I seen that I thought wait I wonder what it'll look like there so I just did it and I really really do like that bit it's probably going to like get into the house, into, a, into another building that I build. 